Welcome back everyone. My name is Sagar and we are back here with another video. So today in this video we are going to see the implementation of room database in Kotlin multi-platform and we are going to create it for Android, iOS and desktop application. So without making any further ado, let's get started. So we will start with downloading a KMP template and for that you can go to kmp.jetprince.com. We will download a room demo, Android, iOS and a desktop and you can directly download it here. And uh, and I already downloaded it so you can just open it there you can see the folder so this is our main project you just have to copy it and paste it wherever you are keeping your projects and uh, once it is done then you can open Android studio and open the project from here and uh, first you have to come to this project view instead of this Android view so we will start by adding some dependencies in this compose app module and let's add the versions in this catalog so you can just uh, paste all the things here i will share the repository link down in the description and and you can also use the latest version uh, whatever you are having so we need ksp for our annotation processing we need sqlite and we also need room after this let's add the libraries here same room compiler room runtime and sqlite bundled and finally two plugins for it Let's add all the things in this build.gradle file and sync it once. So our plugins, once we are syncing, then this error will go. And uh, then our inside of common main dependencies, our libraries, and scroll down. And at last also add these. So with this, we are defining where we are generating our JSON file. That will contain our database related configuration. And this is our KSP dependency. We can also define it inside of this common dependencies block, but right now it is not supporting, so you can just give it a try. Let us sync now. Okay, Gradle sync is done, and uh, let's create our database inside of our common, common main. Here, let me just paste this file. So, let me just explain. So, first we are creating our entity that is our data class, which is one row in our table. We have to use this entity annotation and there should be also a primary key and I am using here auto generated equal to true and my user data is right now only a node and to perform any operation in my table with this nodes entity I am creating a DAO that is data access object. So this should be an interface and should be annotated with a DAO annotation. So currently performing three operations first is insert that is inserting a nodes entity inserting a row. Second is delete, deleting a row with this delete annotation and, and, third, and third is get all. That means getting all the available entries inside of my table. So this is my DAO and finally our database. So this should be an abstract class, notes database and, and the annotation should also contain this database and define our table. And once we have the instance of this database class, we can also get our DAO. So this is our whole database. So go to Android main our main activity there so here we are using a common ui for all the platforms android ios and desktop and for that we have to pass an instance of database to our common ui so that we can perform any operations on our data that is showing in the ui so here in this activity we need the instance of our database or we can say after getting the instance of database we can just directly pass the dao object a data access object which we can use to perform any operation so let's create a function for getting it get DAO and for that we need a context object so with this we are creating the instance of our database and returning at last our DAO object so this will return our DAO and let's get it here outside of our composable get DAO and we have to pass the context here you can pass this as a activity or you can also pass application context that's totally up to you so that's it uh, let me pass the DAO object here and uh, let's create some ui so i'm just pasting it here so what i am doing here is i am observing i am observing all the nodes with this get all method from our DAO, and then i am also creating a text field and a button so button will insert the values whatever is there in the text field and below that i am showing a lazy column to show all the entries that are present inside of this notes list that i am observing 
and uh, let's give it a try okay so the app has crashed and uh, let us see the locat so it is saying null pointer exception in this find and instantiate database implementation and uh, this method is inside of this there you can see find and instantiate in database database implementation and uh, why it is throwing null pointer exception i couldn't find the reason i wasted two to three days on it and uh, found no solution there was no explanation why it is showing this exception i found one weird solution for it i don't know why it is there but we have to put this function inside of a database package so so let me remove it from here we have to create a database package inside of this package right click new package database spelling should be like this and paste it here let me also copy that dependency imports and it should work yes so let me import it here and now it will work fine let me run okay it crashed again uh, that was totally my mistake we have to also put this class this notes database inside of the same package so let's create a directory here database and this notes database should be also inside of it maybe they are having some hard coded configuration for this database package but uh, it is what it is okay so the app has successfully built and we will enter something i insert so it is inserted some more inserts and you can see we are inserting we are observing the data and if we can click on the text we can also delete it so it is working fine for android now let us move to desktop open this desktop main we also have to create a package here database paste the function we can get that's it let's go to the main file and let's get the DAO here because we are in a composable so we will use remember that's it but if you are pressing on this button then it will not run so for running our desktop application we have to add a configuration here so add uh, a gradle a gradle configuration and for that you can refer to my recent video on kmp so if you see here i am writing compose app run i will drop the link of this video in the description so colon compose app colon run and i'll name it desktop apply and run now it should run our window there you can see this is our window and uh, previously i already tested this thing with the same database name so that's why it is showing some notes here let me add one two and you can add multiple times and we can also remove it so it is working fine and for our ios let us create the database and paste the function here so this is also get DAO and all these things are uh, now showing error but if you are opening it in xcode or if you are running our application then it will work fine let us import this room and also we have to return the DAO object here get DAO so in our main view controller this is also a composable so you have to do the same thing just copy this line Paste it here. That's it. And you have to add one more thing before running your iOS application. Just go to your gradle.properties and add this. So, this line. You can sync and you can just try running your iOS application on Xcode and it will just work fine. So, I hope you learned something new from this video. If yes, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.